Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Good to see you all here today as we worship the Lord. For anybody that might be worshiping with us on Glide, we're glad you are here also. Just want to bring up a couple of quick announcements, if I can remember them. I already forgot I was supposed to be teaching a class between the two services today. I'm sorry about that, ladies. I'm just getting... That's all right. It just... Anyway, Tuesday at 6 o'clock, we're having our Shrove Tuesday meal of bacon, 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 and pancakes. So please be here at 6 o'clock for that. But if you are wanting to come, we would appreciate it. And you're going to get a reminder about this tonight to please call the church office tomorrow so we'll know how much bacon and pancakes to prepare for. We would really appreciate that. Also, then Wednesday at 6 o'clock, we're going to have our Ash Wednesday service with Holy Communion this year. Uh, I'll explain that Wednesday night about why we're going to do the two of those together. Also, we still need some care team volunteers. So if you're interested in doing that, if you would please uh, see Chip, uh, he could uh, help you with that. He had a couple others going to be helping. And then uh, there's one other thing I need to bring up, that tomorrow there are two birthday girls in our midst. Uh, Sharon and Jennifer both have a birthday. They're going to both be the same age as what Sharon told me. <laughs> so I hate to ask Jennifer to lead her own birthday song. She can do it. So... I'm going to try it. She's she going to have to play her own birthday no, song, I guess. Uh, uh, but, it, but anyway, okay, that's right. You, sang, you played on the trumpet. All right. So let's sing happy birthday to them. Happy birthday to you. Let's pray. Father, I want to pray again in front of these, my brothers and sisters, this prayer. Show us your glory in this place today. In Jesus' name, amen.
Let us join together by affirming our faith in our, our, in our holy God. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him and all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And on the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. singing hymn number 525 we'll understand it better by and by two verses verses one and four Right, Sunshine. 
sunshine in that land of perfect day when the mists have rolled away we will understand it better by and by by and by when the morning comes with the saints of god are gathered home we'll tell the story how we overcome for we'll now time for our children to come forward for their time with Miss Sherry and then you're welcome to go to Children's Church after that. Good morning. We'll wait for you. Brielle, you want to come with us? Okay. How is everybody doing today? Isn't it great to be in the house of the Lord this morning? You can give everybody a smile out there. Okay, I want to talk to y'all about, now who was in Sunday school today? Were some of y'all in Sunday school? Did you have a celebration of some sort in Sunday school? What'd you do? Um, we had a party. Had a party? What kind of party? Valentine's party. Valentine's party. Because Valentine's Day is coming up Wednesday, right? So what do you typically do on Valentine's? Well, like if you're at school, what do you do? You want to share? Anybody want to share? What's one thing you do f to celebrate Valentine's at school? Valentine's boxes. Valentine's boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, go ahead. Uh, Valentine's bags, and we give uh, things to exchange. You exchange things, right? So sometimes on Valentine's, we, if we're lucky, we're going to get a Valentine from somebody, right? Sometimes it might be a family member or friend or classmate that you love. But you know what? We all get a Valentine from God. And you know what the very best Valentine that I ever got was? What does that say? says Jesus. Jesus was the very, very best Valentine that God ever gave all of us. No matter who we are, God loved us all so much that he gave us Jesus as a Valentine, right? And do y'all remember John three sixteen? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but have everlasting life and there's another verse in first john that says god is love so when you think about love i hope you think about god right and the gift that god gave us was jesus so that's the very very best valentine that anybody can get so if somebody says that they didn't get a valentine this year they need to think and you can share the news of jesus and how God loved us so much, okay? We're going to ask Pastor D to come pray with us. Let's pray together. Lord, help us all to remember of your great love. For Lord, when we think about a Valentine card, really you, you displayed Valentine on the cross of Calvary for us. And help us to remember that. In Jesus' name, amen. Sherry, was there an announcement you wanted to make? I wanted to invite all the ladies of the church. I know some of y'all are maybe not in a circle, but I'm in the agape circle. 
and we are having Tuesday at 12 o'clock a speaker from McGuffey's that's going to come and share, and we're going to put some Valentine things together. So if you are free at noon on Tuesday, we're going to have some light refreshments. If you want to bring a sandwich, pick up something and eat your lunch uh, when you come at noon, we're welcome to have anybody and everybody. If you have any questions, you can find Kimberly or I or somebody else that Wanda's in uh, the Agape group. So we would love to have any and all guests if you would like to come and share with us. So don't say you didn't get invited. Thanks. Before we go to the Lord of Prayer, uh, I think sometimes when you also kind of celebrate some things where God is at work. Yesterday, uh, we had a leadership team meeting, and uh, we really, the different teams went over the various things that they're planned for this year. And what I'm going to do is get Lisa to get them together so we can go ahead and put them in the newsletter for the next month just y'all so y'all could see but we have a really exciting year of ministry to do and so I thank God for that and you know this morning I was thinking about I was having prayer in the prayer room with a few others before the service this morning and a lot of people were coming in and there was a lot of noise and I gave God thanks for that noise because that was a sound of the church laughing and cutting up and enjoying being together and that's a good thing. It's a good thing when we can enjoy and look forward to seeing each other each week. I think that's a great sign uh, in the life of our church. So I give thanks for that. Let's pray together. Almighty God, we do give you thanks. Thanks for what you are doing in our lives. Each and we, every one of us individually and for uh, the life of that is.